Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Du Gerichman with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. On Wednesday, August 8th, the National Association of Immigration Judges filed a formal grievance against the Executive Office of Immigration Review and the Department of Justice, following the removal of Philadelphia Judge Stephen Morley from certain immigration cases. Jeremy McKinney, AILA Treasurer, is here to share more. Jeremy, thanks for joining us. What can you tell us about the matter of Castro Tum, which seems to have led to this grievance? When the Attorney General used the removal case of Castro Tum to eliminate the judge's ability to administratively close cases, he ordered Castro Tum's case recalendared. The immigration judge assigned to the case asked for more information about whether Castro Tum was properly notified of the hearing. EOR management then promptly removed the immigration judge from the case, replacing him with an assistant chief immigration judge who immediately ordered Castro Tombs deportation. This brazen move is a stark reminder immigration judges are DOJ employees and not independent adjudicators. And what is the key point in the grievance the judges union filed? The grievance charges EOR with violating the Constitution, federal statute, and the National Association of Immigration Judges union contract by stripping cases away from a judge based on the administration's desired outcome. The Attorney General is taking advantage of the key structural flaw in our immigration court system, the fact that the whole system operates directly under his authority. All of this is happening simply to fuel the deportation machine at the expense of due process. What can AILA members do to help? Members need to educate themselves and then take action. AILA has a featured issue page on immigration courts. It is filled with useful links on the actions this administration has taken to strip away the independence of immigration judges and more information about our association's call for the establishment of an Article I immigration court. Members can then use AILA's advocacy resources, including our Contact Congress link, to advocate for change. This is a time of crisis in our immigration court system, and we have to make our voice heard. Thank you, Jeremy, for joining us. And all of you out there, please stay tuned for more updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.